as I come to this cone, he's bending and shaping right. What I'm doing with my legs is the leg closest to the cone is forward, and the leg furthest from the cone is back, but then in between the cones, I end up sh shifting my legs. So my new inside leg or my new cone leg comes forward, and my outside leg comes back. So left leg forward, right leg back. Now I come to this cone, and I go right leg forward, left leg back. You'll notice that as I'm doing this, my horse is changing his bend in shape as he's coming through. And I'm exaggerating this a little bit. So my hands on this circle are moving because my shoulders are moving. So my right shoulder comes back and then my left shoulder comes back. So the shoulder closest to the cone is coming back slightly. That's moving my hands. Now, if my horse doesn't respond, what I'm going to do is squeeze that rein as though I'm squeezing a sponge to get a little more bent. So I'm going to squeeze that rein. Now, it's going to be very important that whatever you take on the inside, you are allowing on the outside. So the outside rein needs to come forward to allow your horse to make that shape change or make that bend change. If you're holding on the outside, you're going to be creating a lot of resistance. And that resistance is going to show up in their head, neck, jaw, shoulders. Now let's talk a little bit about your weight. So your weight is going to the side of the cone. So my weight's a little bit in the right seat bone as my right leg's forward. And now my weight's a little bit in the left seat bone as my left leg comes forward. So I'm doing a little shift of my weight. That's real important because if I hold, again, I'm gonna create tension and bracing in their body. And I hadn't mentioned that earlier as I was writing this exercise, but it would be the same thing when you're weaving. It's a ask and a release, a ask and a release. It's got some feel. What I'm going to do is just talk a little bit and we'll finish up for the day. This is an exercise that is going to get you riding every stride. Get one piece at a time and then you can start putting it all together. Okay, have fun with this exercise and until next time, happy riding. Wait, one more thing. Hey, if you're watching this on Facebook, please give us a thumbs up. Share it with a friend. Tag a friend in the comments below if you think they might get something from it. If you're watching us on YouTube, please like our channel or give, us, give the video a thumbs up. We really appreciate that. And I love comments. So leave a comment below. Let me know your thoughts. Like, does this exercise make sense for you and your horses? Is it something you're going to work on next time? Have you tried it? Once you try it, great. Let me know how it worked out for you. Okay, until next time, happy riding.